next topic in our z transform is of the unilateral z transform in the previous cases whatever the z transform we find out the limit what we taken it is for only for uh, from minus infinity to the plus infinity now we will be going to define our z transform only for the positive values or else the n value varying from 0 to the infinity here the two sided z transform or else a bilateral z transform is discussed in the whatever the uh, problems we solved based for our z transform is from n varying from minus infinity to plus infinity but when we are going for unilateral it is nothing but one sided z transform and it's going to define for n value greater than or equals to 0 it is nothing but for the positive values of n the unilateral z transform the equation is going to be x of z is equals to summation n varying from 0 to infinity x of n z raised to minus n then the summation it's going to uh, informing that whatever the values i am going for it is for the non negative values of n and whether or not x of n is 0 for n less than 0 so x of n value will be 0 for n values less than 0 and it's going to be denoted as the relationship between x of n and x of z is going to be represented as x of n is going to be by two arrows z of u means in the previous only will be writing as z but here here you have to write as z u u indicating unilateral z transform that is x of z then the unilateral and bilateral z transform are equivalent for the causal signals both the transfers satisfy all the properties whatever we already done with that except for the shift time shift property how it is going to be a uh, change will uh, consider now considering the relationship between x of n and x of z for the unilateral z transform then let y of n is equals to x of n minus 1 here shift condition we are going to be taking then the unilateral z transform of y of n that is y of z is equals to i can write as summation varying from n varying from 0 to infinity y of n z raised to minus n then instead of y of n i am writing here as x of n minus 1 here i should write as x of n minus 1 into z raised to minus n then from this i am going to take the first value of x of n minus 1 that is when i substitute n as 0 you will be getting as x of minus 1 plus the remaining part as it is where our n is varying from 1 to infinity x of n minus 1 z raised to minus n then substituting n minus 1 is equals to m if i substitute this the limit is going to be changing here for the summation summation m varying from 0 to infinity x of m z raised to minus m plus 1 based on this then from this z raised to minus 1 is going to be a constant here that is taken outside and remaining part is of summation m varying from 0 to infinity x of m z raised to minus m then y of z is equals to x of minus 1 plus z inverse x of z this is nothing but our z transform equation only that is x of z this is for the shift is of only one time that is x of n minus 1 if i go for two times the shift x of n minus 2 then the unilateral z transform is going to be here it is second as for wn therefore w z is equals to summation n varying from 0 to infinity wn z raised to minus n here instead of wn we will be substituting as x of n minus 2 substitute that here we will be taking two shifts means x of minus 2 plus x of minus 1 z inverse remember here x of minus 1 z inverse plus summation n varying from 2 to infinity x of n minus 2 z is to minus n then substituting n minus 2 is equals to m and solving for this then you will be getting as w of z is equals to x of minus 2 plus x of minus 1 z raised to minus 1 plus z raised to minus 2 x of z in the similar way if i go for the third shift 
then you will be getting the z transform as v of z is equals to first value x of minus 3 plus x of minus 2 z inverse plus x of minus 1 z raised to minus 2 plus z raised to minus 3 x of z. It's going on. This is the unilateral z transform equation. This is how in a theory part it is going to be. Now we will consider with the problem. Here a problem it is given. Determine the one sided or else unilateral z transform for the signal x of n here it is given as 1, 2, 5, 7, 0 and 1. Solution the unilateral z transform write the equation that is x of z is equals to summation n varying from 0 to infinity x of n z is to minus n. Now you substitute for n values in this case. If I substitute for n as 0 means x of 0 z is to 0 we will bring x of 0 like that you go on substituting till how many values you have to substitute. Here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Yes, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Up to fifth, fifth value we have to substitute. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. X of 5, Z is to minus 5. Then substitute for these values here. X of 0 is 1. Substitute here. Plus X of 1 is 2. 2 into Z inverse plus 5 x of 2 is 5 into z raised to minus 2 plus 7 z raised to minus 3 and this value is 0 x of minus 4 uh, 4 is 0 for that reason it will be 0 then x of 5 is 1 into z raised to minus 5 this is how we have to solve for this problem then the next problem is of determine the unilateral z transform for the sequence x of n here it is given as 2 4 5 7 0 1 same but here they indicated that the 0 value means the 0th position is at 5th then how to uh, solve for this whatever the negative values it's going to be 0 1 2 3 these are the values then here minus 1 minus 2 minus values you will not be getting in the unilateral z transform that you have to keep in mind therefore since unilateral z transform does not going to be existing for the negative values of n so you should not consider of this part then use the equation that is x of z is equals to summation varying from n is equal to 0 to infinity x of n z is to minus n substitute for n n is equal to 0 to 0, 1, 2, 3. Up to th third value, you have to substitute here. Then substitute for x of 0. Here it is of 5. Then plus x of 1 is 7 into z raised to minus 1. Plus this value is going to be 0 because here it is 0. Then z raised to here x of 3 is going to be 1. 1 into z raised to minus 3. This is how you have to solve this problem. Next, we will go with the some other problems. Find the unilateral z transform for the signal x of n is equals to alpha raised to n u of n. Then y of n is equals to x of n minus 2 where x of n is equals to alpha raised to n. Then x of z use a z transform equation for the unilateral z transform. Keep that is in mind. Summation n varying from 0 to infinity x of n z is to minus n. Then here the condition is given as the x of n is going to be y of y power n u of n that you have to substitute here. The given equation is going to be alpha raised to n u of n based on the u of n function here our n value is varying from 0 to infinity only for unilateral function is also same no need of again substituting one more time. Okay, alpha raised to n, z raised to minus n, it will be, then here the power is going to be in a common, alpha z inverse power is going to be n, use your basic basic formula, then you will be getting as x of z is equals to 1 divided by 1 minus alpha into z inverse. This is the x of n given, then y of n it is given as y of x of n minus 2. 
where x of n is equals to alpha is to n is the same what is in the previous then y of n minus y of n is equal to x of n minus 2 where x of n is equals to alpha is to n then x of z is equals to for this you have to find out for the reason summation n uh, varying from 0 to infinity alpha is to n z is to minus n summation n varying from 0 to infinity alpha into z is to minus 1 power n using of the basic formula i can write as 1 divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse then the y of n is going to be equal to x of n minus 2 from the unilateral z transform i can write as y of z is equal to x of minus 2 plus x of minus 1 z is to minus 1 plus x of z of minus 2 x of z then we already find out what is our x of z that you have to substitute here then what is our x of minus 2 what you have to do in this case x of minus 2 is going to be what is uh, what is changes n is going to be changing as alpha raised to minus 2 alpha raised to minus 2 plus x of minus 1 means nothing but alpha raised to minus 1 alpha raised to minus 1 z inverse plus z raised to minus 2 divided by x of z is of 1 divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse this is what the equation then rearrange the terms here uh, written as from higher order to the lower order in terms of z i am writing the equation therefore y of z is equals to z is to minus 2 divided by 1 minus alpha into z inverse plus alpha is to minus 1 z is to minus 1 plus alpha is to minus 2 you will be getting off this is how we have to solve for the unilateral z transform next problem is of find the natural response of the system described by the difference equation here the equation is given as y of n minus 1 by 4 y of n minus 1 minus 1 by 8 y of n minus 2 is equal to x of n plus x of n minus 1 with y of minus 1 is equal to 0 and y of minus 2 is equals to 1 here it is conditions are given the natural response already we come across what you mean by a natural response force response and also complete response when i am going for the natural response our x of n is going to be zero that you have to keep in mind the natural response due to initial conditions x of n is going to be zero then x of n is zero means i can write the equation as y of n plus minus one by four y of n minus one minus one by eight y of n minus two is going to be equal to zero from this the unilateral z transform is going to be for y of n it's y of z only where y of n minus 1 is there means what i can write 1 by 4 as it is y of minus 1 plus z inverse y of z minus then 1 by 8 as it is for y of n minus 2 i can write as y of minus 2 plus y of minus 1 z is to minus 1 plus z is to minus 2 y of z is equals to 0 then multiply 1 by 4 for whole then 1 by 8 for the whole then rearrange the terms take your y of z all in a one side and remaining all in another side what i can substitute now y of z is going to be 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse minus 1 by 8 z is to minus 2 minus 1 by 4 y of minus 1 this here then 1 minus 1 by 8 y of minus 1 z inverse then 1 by 8 y of minus 2 is equals to 0 then what you have to do by using of y of minus 1 is of what 0 y of minus 1 is 0 this part is going to be 0 then here also y of minus 1 is 0 it will be also 0 then y of minus 2 was what? Minus, oh sorry, 1. That you have to substitute here. Minus 1 by 8 into 1 means minus 1 by 8. This part written as it is. That is equals to 0. Therefore, from this I can write as what is y of z is going to be? That is equals to 1 by 8 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 z is to minus 1 
minus 1 by 8 z raised to minus 2. Then taking factors for this. When I take the factors, you will be getting as minus 1 by 2 minus plus 1 by 4. Then I can write as just you go for the simplification. Then you will be getting as 1 divided by 8 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse into 1 plus 1 by 4 z inverse. Using partial fraction expansion method. What is C1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 Z inverse plus C2 divided by 1 plus 1 by 4 Z inverse. Then find out for your C1 and C2 values. If you want to find C1 value, you have to substitute Z inverse as 2. If you want to find C2 values, you have to substitute Z inverse as minus 4. Substitute in that, you will be getting as C1 as 1 by 12 and C2 as 1 divided by 24. Then substitute C1, C2 in this equation. Then 1 divided by 12 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 Z inverse plus 1 by 24, 1 plus 1 by 4 into Z inverse. Then from this, if I take inverse Z transform, then I'll be getting as natural response is going to be 1 divided by 12. This is then here is of 1 by 2 power n u of n plus 1 divided by 24 here minus of minus i can write minus 1 by 4 power n u of n this is for the natural response so next if i go for determining the forced response for the system described by the difference equation y of n minus 5 by 6 y of n minus 1 plus 1 by 6 y of n minus 2 is equals to x of n if input x of n is equals to 2 power n u of n the first response is a response due to the input only means make the initial conditions as 0 here y of n uh, return the equation as it is then applying the unilateral z transform for this then i will be taking it as y of z minus 5 by 6 y of minus 1 for this part y of minus 1 plus z raised to minus 1 y of z plus 1 by 6 y of minus 2 plus y of minus 1 z raised to minus 1 plus z raised to minus 2 y of z is equals to x of z here only x of n is there so i can write as x of z only what is the initial conditions for forced response y of minus 1 and minus 2 is going to be 0 only. Therefore, y of minus n is going to be 0. Then here minus 2, minus 1, these all values are going to be 0 only. Okay. Then the remaining part is of y of z minus 5 by 6, z raised to minus 1, y of z plus 1 by 6, z raised to minus 2, y of z is going to be equals to x of z. Then from this y of z is going to be taken common. Then the remaining part is of 1 minus 5 by 6 z inverse plus 1 by 6 z raised to minus 2. Our x of z from this already by using of the z transform. Use your z transform. We substitute the equation. You will be getting as already we done this problem. So directly I can write as 1 divided by 1 minus 2 into z inverse. Then what is our y of z is going to be now? 1 divided by 1 minus 5 by 6 z inverse plus 1 by 6 z raised to minus 2 into 1 minus 2 z inverse. Then for this, taking the factors, then you'll be getting as 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 3 z inverse into 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse into 1 minus 2 into z inverse. Then using of a partial fraction expansion, here three terms are there. So you have to find c1, c2 and c3. When you are going to find C1, you should substitute Z inverse as 3. When you are going to find out C2, you have to substitute Z inverse as 2. Then when you are going to find Z3, substitute Z inverse as 1 by 2. When you substitute in the equation, you will be getting as C1 as 2 by 5, C2 as minus 1, then C3 as 8 by 5. Substitute C1, C2 and C3 values. You will be getting as 2 by 5 divided by 1 minus 1 by 3 z inverse minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse plus 8 by 5 
divided by 1 minus 2 into z in next taking inverse z transform therefore you getting as y of n is equals to 2 by 5 1 divided by 3 power n u of n minus 1 by 2 power n u of n plus 8 by 5 2 raised to n u of n this is what inverse z transform then the next form is of solve the following difference equation that is y of n plus 3 y of n minus 1 is going to be equal to x of n here x of n is given as u of n then initial conditions they already they only given for us that is y of minus 1 is going to be equal to 1 this is a given equation then so apply the in lateral z transform on both sides y of z plus 3 y of minus 1 plus z inverse uh, y of z is going to be equals to z transform of u of n is going to be 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse. This we already know. If you don't know, substitute with the z transform equation, then you find out. Then multiplying 3 for the whole, then multiplied here just then substituting what they given y of minus 1 is of 1. That you have to, this is value is going to be 1. Therefore, y of z plus 3 plus 3 z inverse y of z is equals to 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse. Then from this, you take y of z as a common 1 plus 3 z inverse plus 3 a constant value will be coming here is equals to 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse. Then this 3 is uh, taking towards your RHS then 1 minus 1 minus z sorry, 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse minus 3 take the lcm and solve for this you will be getting as minus 2 plus 3z inverse divided by 1 minus z inverse you will be getting then take this towards the rhs again then y of z is going to be equals to minus 2 plus 3z inverse divided by 1 minus z inverse into 1 plus 3z inverse then partial fraction expansion method by using of this y of z is going to be c1 divided by 1 minus z inverse plus c2 divided by 1 plus 3 into z inverse. Then find out is c1, c2 values here. c1 value will going, going to get uh, when you substitute z inverse as 1. For c2 value finding you have to substitute z inverse as 3 minus 3 rs minus 1 by 3 okay one or the other when i substitute you'll be getting as c1 as 1 by 4 and c2 as minus 9 by 4 then substitute c1 c2 in the equation then you'll be getting as y of z is equals to 1 by 4 divided by 1 minus z inverse plus minus 9 by 4 divided by 1 plus 3 into z inverse then taking inverse z transform i can write as 1 by 4 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse is nothing but our u of n. Then minus 9 by 4 constant value as it is. From this minus of minus 3 I can write minus 3 power n u of n I can write it out. Then taking u of n as a outside common and 1 by 4, 1 by 4 as a common again. Then I can write as y of n is going to be equals to 1 by 4 into 1 minus 9 minus 3 power n into u of n then the next problem is of solve the following difference equation for the given initial conditions and the input y of n minus 1 by 9 y of n minus 2 is equals to x of n minus 1 with the condition the given as y of minus 1 is equals to 0 and y of minus 2 is equal to 1 and the input is given as x of n is equals to 3 into u of n. First you take the given equation then go for your applying the unilateral z transform then you will be getting as y of z for y of n minus 1 by 9 taking as a common y of x of y of n minus 2 the unilateral z transform is going to be y of minus 2 plus y of minus 1 into z raised to minus 1 plus z raised to minus 2 y of capital y of z is equals to for x of n minus 1 x of minus n 1 
plus z inverse x of z. Here, uh, they didn't give the x of values. The initial conditions values are going to be 0. For the reason, x of minus 1 value is going to be 0. And they already given what is y of minus 1 and what is y of minus 2. That you have to substitute here. y of minus 1 is 0. y of minus 2 is of 1. That you have to substitute here. y of z minus 1 by 9. 1 plus z is to minus 2. y of z is equals to z is to minus 1. x of z you will be getting off. Then multiply 1 by 9 for both. Then you will be getting as y of z minus 1 by 9 minus 1 by 9, z is to minus 2, divided by 9, y of z is equals to z is to minus 1, x of z. Then take y of z as a common here for these two terms. 1 minus z is to minus 2, divided by 9, minus 1, 1 by 9. Here it is written. Then z is to minus 1, x of z. What is our x of z? x of n it is given as 3 into u of n. u of n already we know what is the z transform 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse that you have to substitute here. Here it is going to be y of z 1 minus z raised to minus 2 divided by 9 is equals to this is taken towards RHS then it will be as 1 by 9 plus z inverse what is our x of z? 3 into u of n. 3 into u of n z transform is going to be 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse. That I, if I multiply, I will be getting as 3 into z inverse divided by 1 minus z inverse. Then here taking the LCM, then you will be getting as 9 minus z is to minus 2 divided by 9 is equals to here again the LCM. If I take, I will be getting as 1 minus z inverse plus 27 z inverse divided by 9 into 1 minus z inverse. This 9, this 9 get cancels here. You can cancel here or else in the next step you can cancel it off. And solve for this, you will be as 1 plus 26 z inverse. Then represent the equation in terms of y of z that is equals to 1 plus 26 z inverse divided by 1 minus z inverse into 9 minus z is to minus 2. Then again take the factors here a square minus b square equation you should uh, take and then I can write as a plus b into a minus b then 3 plus z inverse into 3 minus z is to minus 1. 1 minus z inverse 1 plus 26 z inverse you can write. Then again use your partial fraction expansion method find out your c1, c2 and c3 values. You will be adding C1 value as 27 by 8, C2 as minus 77 divided by 24 and C3 value as minus 79 divided by 12. Then substitute your C1, C2, C3 values in the equation. Then you will be adding as Y of Z is equals to 27 divided by 8 divided by 1 minus Z inverse plus minus 77 divided by 24 divided by 3 plus Z inverse plus minus 79 divided by 12 divided by 3 minus z inverse. Again, uh, this minus signs is taken, multiplied with this and it return the equation here. Then take your inverse z transform. Then you will be getting as y of n is equals to 27 divided by 8 u of n minus 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse is u of n. Then minus 77 divided by 72 minus 1 by 3 because minus of minus 1 by 3 power n u of n minus 79 divided by 36 into 1 by 3 power n u of n. This is your universal transform. Next problem is of find the impulse response of the system described by the following difference equation. That is y of n plus 1 by 2 y of n minus 1 is equals to 2 into x of n. Find the impulse response they are asking for us. Therefore, impulse response is defined as for the relative system. X of n is going to be a delta of n. Then, y of n is equal to h of n. And y of minus 1, the condition is going to be 0. 
then x of minus 1 is going to be 0. Then the equation, if I change the equation for this based on the given, then I can write as instead of v of n, I can write as h of n plus 1 by 2 h of n minus 1 is equals to 2 into delta of n. This you make a mark here how to solve for the equation. Then h of n plus 1 by 2 h of n minus 1 is going to be equals to 2 into x power 2 delta of n. Then by using of unilateral z transform I can write as h of z plus 1 by 2 from this h of minus 1 plus z inverse h of z is going to be equals to 2 then h of z plus 1 by 2 z inverse multiplying here then h of minus 1 is 0 this value is going to be 0 only then delta of n value is always 1 so you can write as 2 only here then it is equals to 2 then h of z you take as a common 1 plus 1 by 2 z inverse is going to be equals to 2 then h of z is equals to 2 divided by 1 plus 1 by 2 z inverse you will be getting off then use your inverse z transform then i can write as h of n is going to be 2 minus of minus minus 1 by 2 power n u of n this is how you have to solve if the problem it is given to find your impulse response this is a different one what we solved in the previous next problem is a solve the following difference uh, equation using z transform that is y of n minus 3 by 2 y of n minus 1 plus 1 by 2 y of n minus 2 is equals to x of n for n Here the equation is given as y of n minus 3 by 2 y of n minus 1 plus 1 by 2 y of n minus 2 is equals to is equal to x of n for n greater than equals to 0. With initial condition, y of minus 1 is given as 4, y of minus 2 is given as 10, then x of n is given as 1 by 4 power n u of n. Solution, the given equation you have to write, then use your, apply your unilateral z transform, then I will be getting as y of z minus 3 by 2, y of minus 1 plus z inverse y of z plus 1 by 2 y of minus 2 plus z to minus 1 y of minus 1 plus z is 2 minus 2 y of z is equals to x of z. Then take your y of z as a common. Then you will as 1 minus 3 by 2 z inverse plus 1 by 2 z is 2 minus 2 is equals to 1 minus 2 z inverse plus for this what is x of z? x of n it's given 1 by 4 power n u of n. That's the transform is going to be 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse that he, here it is substituted plus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse then after taking y of z whatever the remaining part that is taken here after substituting y of minus 1 as 4 and y of minus 2 as 10 after that you will be getting this equation then y of z is going to be when you solve for this 2 minus 9 by 4 z inverse plus 1 by 2 z is to minus 2 divided by 1 minus 3 by 2 z inverse plus 1 by 2 z inverse square z is to minus 2 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse you will be getting out.
then if I find the factors for this, then I'll be getting as 1 minus z inverse into 1 minus 1 by 2 z uh, inverse, then in this part as it is, then we're using of your partial fraction expansion, here it is taken as, you can write C1C2, C3, or else K1, K2, K3, then find out for K1, K2, and K3, then after finding your K1, K2, K3, you'll be getting as y of z is equals to 2 by 3, divided by 1 minus z inverse plus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse plus 1 by 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by 4 z inverse. Then taking inverse z transform, y of n is going to be equal to 2 by 3 u of n plus 1 by 2 power n u of n plus 1 by 3 for this 1 by 4 power n u of n for n greater than equals to 0.